catch so far? 129 pounds. So now, what do you do with it? Well, some will tell you that they just will not eat the sturgeon, but others say the fish is somewhat of a local delicacy. Fox 11's Eric Peterson has more from Stockbridge. First, I was thinking, this is really heavy to get off the truck. Teresa Wilson says she was still in shock when she registered this 73-pound sturgeon Saturday morning in Stockbridge. I'm going to do some celebrating, but yeah, it's going to make a lot of meals. Wilson says when they got the sturgeon home, her husband did the carving. This is um, the fillet of my sturgeon. She says this chunk will serve about eight. A lot of people didn't know that it was that good for deep frying, but it really is. And then um, you can pan fry it in just like a fry magic thing, or you can make a cream sauce, put it in the oven in a little dish, and then it comes out really tender and tasty as well. Wilson says eight hours of hickory smoke from this homemade cooker turned the sturgeon tails into a local delicacy. We will put it in a, make a fish spread for crackers. Kind of like a salmon spread. So what does sturgeon taste like? It's not fishy. I would equate the texture to like a pork chop. Eric Nabfeld registered his first fish at the Stockbridge station Monday morning. What are you going to do with it? Eat it. Yeah. Have you had sturgeon before? Yep. What does it taste like? What is it? Um, it's a little greasier, more like kind of like catfish, I guess. Well, they're very good. Yeah. Uh, you can boil them, you can fry them, you can do all kinds of stuff, and we smoke some of them too. And that smoke is what many people say makes this fish a favorite. Many people don't like it, but I never thought I would years ago. But it's really good. In Stockbridge, Eric Peterson, Fox 11 News. All right, well, the Wilsons say their family harvested three sturgeon already this year, and they say that's a good thing because they used up their supply of last year's over the weekend.